Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Classical Gas by Mason Williams. Now this has a lot of solo guitar parts to it. There's a little orchestra bit in the middle that we'll obviously skip. Um, but um, it's based around A minor. Uh, then it goes to C major and all that good stuff. But um, we're going to try to get through these parts. There is an intro to the song, so I'm going to go through that really quick. And then get to the main theme in this video. And we'll take care of the other sections and the other videos. All right, so the intro is still based around A minor. So just hold an A minor chord and pick the open A string and the B string together with your thumb and your middle finger. Then to the uh, third string, the G string, with your index, and then back to your second string with the middle finger. Then put your third finger over on the third fret on the sixth string and pick thumb on the sixth, G string open with your index, and B string open with your middle finger. Then play the second fret on just by itself with your thumb on the sixth string. And then the same picking pattern we just did with all open strings. So that's sixth string, third, and second string. So all together. Then come to the second fret on the third string, and then the open. And then come back down with the A minor and just pick fifth string, fourth, and third. This whole intro, by the way, is free time, so it's gonna be kind of hard to match up exactly the same timing he's playing it in. Then we kind of start over with it. So that part is you're still holding the A minor, but you're gonna have your first finger up in the beginning. And you're gonna pick the open A string, then the third string with your index, then the middle finger picks the open B and you're going to hammer on the first fret. Then come back down and pick the G string with your index and then do that zero to one hammer on again on the B string. Back to that third finger here at the third fret on the sixth string, that same picking pattern we did before. Down to the second fret and then open strings. Then the two zero again on the G string. Then you're going to do a quick hammer from zero to two on the uh, the G string. And then the open B. And then we're going to end it the same way with that little A minor, just the fifth, fourth, and third strings. So. Then he does this little phrase. So we have just uh, that same picking pattern with your third finger here on the third fret here on the sixth string. And then we're going to put two and one, the first ring, finger down on the first fret on the B, uh, second fret on the G, and you can have an open A string in the bass instead of the sixth string this time. And then you're going to play the second fret on the A. 3rd fret on the B, and the pattern is going to be the same, 5th string, open 3rd string, and then the B string. So we have... Then we get to the 3rd fret on the A string with the open E on top. So pick them together at the same time, then the open G, then the 3rd fret on the B string. Then you need to play the second fret on the D, first fret on the B string. Then back to the third fret on that B string. Then pick the D string again, back to the B, where you're at your first fret again, then down to the open. That what section? Alright, so that's it for the intro, and then the main phrase of the song is next. Alright, so let's take a look at that. It's very repetitive, it's going to happen a lot in the song. It's based around A minor again. We have the A minor chord without the first finger. You're going to pick the open A and the open B together. Hammer on the first fret and then pull back off to the open string. So it's really quick. You might want to pick a little bit closer to the bridge. I'm using a nylon string like he did. Uh, and closer to the bridge gives it more of that flamenco-y type sound. 
gives it a little bit more bite. So. so after that hammer on and pull off, come back down with your first finger and pick the first fret on the B string and then the G string. So it completes a, it makes a full A minor chord. Then the open A, back to the B string with your middle finger, the open A again, and back to the B string, but this time open. All right, then we come to that third fret again on the sixth string, but this time when you do the picking pattern, you're gonna pick the lowest sixth string with your thumb, but the D and the G string with your index and middle finger. Then down to the second fret, same picking pattern. Then the open E followed by the open D. So it goes. All right, then come back with your open E string and the open B string together. Then two to zero on the third string. Then back to the two. Then the open E string, open B, back to the open E, back to the G string with your second finger. And then we're gonna hold that A minor we've already got in our hand here, and we're gonna pick that five, four, three, then do it again, and then end it with just five and four. All right. All right, so we're basically gonna repeat that four times, except the very ending part, that little A minor. The second and third time, what he does there instead is he does a hammer-on figure. So he goes, you pick the open A, and then you pick the open D, and then hammer on that second fret there on the, the D. Then you pick the G string. Then, so that's the first time through those three notes, and then you're gonna, or it's four notes now, and then you're gonna pick the open A and the open D together, and then hammer on the D again, and go back to the G string. So we have this so far. And then end it back with the fourth fret, I mean fourth string there. So we have this. So that's going to be coming out of this. All right, so that's so we do that whole section three times complete, the picking straight across in the first one, the end of the first one, and then the end of the second and third time through it, um, we do that little hammer on version of it. Um, then we go back through the fourth time is the exact same again, except instead of doing the uh, the hammer on version or the straight pick through version, we do this. So that basically takes us up to the next section of the song. So what that is is going to be uh, that's coming right out of this. Say the fourth time through. Okay, so this is going to be, an, uh, once again, it's an A minor chord without the first finger on it, which makes it an A suspended second chord, by the way. Picking across, now I'm using my, my ring finger there, open A, fourth string, third string, second string, then the third string, I mean, I'm sorry, third fret here on the sixth string with your thumb, open G, open B with your middle finger, and then with your index, play the first fret on that B string. Then layer, put your second finger down on the uh, at the second fret on the G string. Pick open A, G, and B. We had this figure earlier. Then the two and the three figure here. So we have this uh, fifth string, open G, B string, and then the two by itself with the open G. Then we get to the thing that's basically into the intro. But here, when we do this, that very last three notes, when you hit this E, hit the low E with it. And then we go to that. 
All right, then it takes us to the next section of the song, which we'll take a look at in the next video. I'll see you then.